All right, good morning everybody. Welcome back. Today we are doing another install video. Today's gonna be kind of a big video. It's gonna be a rather important install modification improvement. Today we are going to get rid of the factory spare tire mount, which is destroying my hood hinges, my uh, tailgate hinges. We're changing out the bumpers and we're going to install the LOD Expedition Series bumper tire care combo. I did opt in for the uh, Expedition Series cargo rack, trail rack that sits up here to add some storage because anyone that knows anything about TJ's knows there is no storage in there. And by the time you pack up a wife and some kids, you've got no room for cargo. So that extra square footage is actually going to help me a lot. LOD does make two different bumper packages for the TJ. They make the Expedition Series, which is what I went ahead and got and they make a signature series. <clears throat> now the signature series is a bigger bumper. It does have integrated light mounts on the bottom, but it also sticks out further. And I purposely waited for a bumper tire care combo to see what kind of wheeling I was gonna do to see what my needs were. And what I found was I need <clears throat> to be as minimal as I can because right here I have actually dented and scratched the bumper here here as well as the um, the gas tanks get. Now anyone that knows me knows I'm also a huge Metal Cloak fan <clears throat> and I really like their bumper tire carrier combo as far as looks and function goes but it was entirely too big. It stuck down too far um, and went around to the edges too far <clears throat> and I think that was gonna hinder me more than help me in the end. So my goal was to find a minimal bumper that was strong, reputable, and LOD fit that bill. So before we get started on the installation of the new stuff, I have some housekeeping to do. I need to remove the old bumper, move the tire carrier, clean up some dirt and grime, and make it look good for the install. So stick around, watch the video, let me know what you think. And if you enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe. We appreciate it, thank you. Okay, so I have all the old parts taken off, the rear bumpers removed, the bolts weren't too bad because like I said, my Jeep's not that rusty. Took um, two bolts on either side and one on the bottom, six bolts total uh, to get off. The reason, um, well a reason I'm switching the bumper out is like I said before, the tailgate is not designed to hold the aftermarket size tires. I believe the Jeep this camel is like a 29, maybe the Rubicon is a 30 inch tire. So the weight of these brackets and the hinge is not meant to support a 32, 33, 35 inch tire. And when you get into the 33 inch tire like I have, you have to get a spacer to bring it up off the tailgate. And when you do that, the weight comes back even farther. So the flutter on here um, is quite significant and on mine, it actually pulled the hinge out just a little bit, but you can see the um, the gap here comes out farther than down here. And um, also, the gapping up on this side is further out than here. So there has been some, some damage to this and some wear and tear that is only gonna get worse with time. So that's another reason you have to make sure you don't run that spacer with this tailgate for too long because it will uh, damage your tailgate and possibly even fall off someday, and that'd be a tragedy. So. We're all set for the new install. Uh, the shipment from LOD did come in three boxes. I only got two, I'm expecting the third one today sometime. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling the packages apart, seeing what it came with, making sure my parts are there. And hopefully uh, the UPS guy will show up pretty quick and we can get started. So stick around. All right, so this is box one of the shipment. It looks like it's the bumper itself. Ordinarily I wouldn't show unboxing because it's just, uh, you know, taking stuff out of the box. But this is interesting, I thought I'd show you guys this, how this bumper came packaged. It's, it's wrapped in this plastic sheeting or packaging, but they also have spray foam insulation in here that expanded to protect it, which is great. But as you can see, I'm packaging this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay, so there's no easy way to do this. 
and uh, I need a sandwich. So I'm gonna finish taking this packaging off and get it ready to go. Let the paint dry on the frame rails that I painted to protect it from the new mount. And we'll come back in a little bit, so wish me luck. All right, so I have the new bumper test fitted already. It's uh, more of a, a lining up the holes kind of fit than it is test fit, so to speak. What I did was I went ahead and spray painted the frame rail right inside here to help clean it up a little bit. And then you have to drill holes right inside here. See if it's, get the camera up in there. So right inside here, these, this bracket where it mounts to the frame rail, these holes don't already exist. Over here, this bracket, the holes already exist from the last bumper, but the LOD is adding in an extra structural support right here. So you're gonna have to come in here, so you can get in there and drill holes right inside here. And the best way to do that is just to get the frame mounted on pretty sturdy, get the holes lined up, and use a pen or a um, grease pencil to help line up these holes so you're not drilling multiple times and get it on straight. So the next step is I'm gonna go ahead and drop this bumper back down and get these holes drilled back in and we'll work on getting the nuts in afterwards. Uh, sounds like it's gonna be kind of tricky getting those nuts in, but we'll sort it out and get moving. All right, so for those of you that don't have any friends to come help, kind of like me, you know who you are. Um, jack stand should work okay. Just be careful because this thing is kind of off camber, off balance, so it will want to pitch and roll on you. So when you move it in and out of the out of the bumper, just be careful. Um, it's actually not that bad. All right, so we get this thing out of the way, we can start getting our holes drilled. Now when you start drilling out these holes, you want to make sure that you don't put the full weight of your body behind that drill because it is open behind here and there's a chance you could go through and puncture the gas tank. So you want to make sure you uh, let the drill work, let the drill bit dig in, but don't use too much pressure. Okay, so now what we did was we've gotten all the bolts in. You can kind of see right here, we've gotten two here and as you work your way, down the line, there's two more, and then there's six, and then eight. So, my helper, oh, there's my helper. Say hi. Hi. All right. All right, so what we had to do here to help us out, sorry for the camera angles, but we ended up using jack stands, and then the bumper wanted to pitch top side heavy forward, so we ended up using a uh, jack and a block and a rag for some padding to help take that bumper and lay up against flat with the frame rails. That allowed us to get those bullets in easier. This could be avoided if you had a friend to help you, but it really wasn't that hard. It's actually gonna be easier to use a jack stand because a jack stand won't complain and say he's tired, want beer, or uh, go watch TV, whatever it is friends do these days. All right, so get these good and tight as best you can because uh, it is going to be your bumper. Move on to the next side and we'll be done here. All right, so the next step is we've got to remove this tail light bezel, the whole housing, because the tire carrier is going to slide right through here on this uh, pin and the tail light housing is going to get in the way. So we'll remove this, grease this pin up with some white lithium grease, and then come back and reinstall this after we drop in the, the tailgate or the uh, tire holder. All right, now that we got the uh, headlight bezel out of the way, sorry, I gotta clean this up. Anyone that knows me knows that I gotta have it clean, even if no one's gonna see it, right? Isn't ethics about doing the right thing even when no one's looking? Well, I feel the same way about cleaning crap up. Even if no one can see it, at least I know it's clean. So the goal here is going to be to attempt to keep this out of the way while not getting grease on that. 
So I'll figure that out, I'll be right back. So we'll take some white lithium grease and we'll just smear it all over this like you're decorating a nice cake. A nice little bumper post happiness Jeep cake. All right now we're back with the tire carrier itself. This is gonna slide around on that pivot point. It has uh, a bolt here to mount the high lift jack uh, when you get that put on. And there's several holes for the systems for the jerry can mounts, the rotoplax mounts, and also the uh, trail rack that goes across top. So we're just gonna slide this bad boy over top of the pin right here. Ugh. Hopefully it all goes on well. And it made a mess. Oh well. Boom. There you have it. The install is going very, very well. The only real issues that I had so far was just getting these bolts lined up. It really is a pain in the butt to do it yourself, but it's not impossible. As long as you have some high jack stands and a good jack to reach the high, it can be done by yourself. wraps up the install for the old tire carrier and LOD bumper system. Now here it is about two weeks later I finally wrapping up the install and the reason for that is LOD when they shipped out the bumper and the tire carrier package they mailed out the wrong brackets here so I've been stuck waiting on a shipment from LOD. Apparently they've been pretty busy and couldn't get knocked out in time but it's on it all fits well. Um, install was really, really simple. I will say that I did get this bumper for the New Year's sale. I got 10% off plus free shipping. So for the tire carrier, um, sorry, the tire carrier, the rack, and the bumper, I was right at about $856. Um, so I can't complain, even though I did order it on New Year's Eve. And here it is, February 9th, and I'm just not getting it wrapped up. Sometimes you gotta wait for the things that are worth it. So this is it. We got it all wrapped up. It's very well made. I'm very satisfied with it. It's gonna do me just fine, so right on. Yeah.